Hello to you all. Many thoughts we run through our mind and heart through the day. To be more exact, over 60 tons, 60K of thoughts we churn through ourselves, but some of them really gets, get to us, really catch us, and we meditate, we contemplate on. Majorly, are these thoughts thoughts of ego, or are these thoughts thoughts of the divine or compassion? Are these thoughts thoughts of doing good or going after our own lusts and desires? And the holy Baal Shem Tov have told us that in the way, the way our thoughts are, this is who you are. This is who you are. And therefore, we must be pay attention, be very careful what kind of thoughts we inculcate within us and catch ourselves and don't allow the thoughts to be so. The way to go about it is disengage, detach yourself from it. Not everything that comes your way, there's so much social media going around, you choose, you skip, you ignore, you let it go. Same over here, you just an urge, the evil inclination. It's not even a feeling, so let it go and it will die. Even if you get angry, go to sleep, go for a run, meditate, do something else, take your mind off it, and it will go. Don't give it strength. Don't put yourself into that situation of seeing, feeling, sensing, any kind of things that are gonna draw you after other things. And we know in Kabbalah that the word for a king in Hebrew is melech, which means moach lev kaved, your, your mind, should be in control of your heart, should be in control of your desires. Nobody said you should not have desires. Nobody said you shouldn't have feelings. Of course you should, but these must be in check. These must be used with emotional intelligence of you controlling your feelings and your desires and put them in the right place and manifesting them to support you, to empower you, not to destroy you as a human being. It's very easy to become animalistic like. And it's much harder to become godly like, compassionate. You want to leave your, behind you a legacy. You want to leave your signature, your seal on your children, on your students, on others, on the world, on your work, on make an impact in everything you do. So make sure you're a real king, whether you're a woman, queen, or a man. Don't allow yourselves to be brought down by this. And it will be a constant war, day in, day out, till your last breath. But understand that God loves you so much for this war, because this is the actual stuff of life. Because this kind of thing angels cannot do. We can do it. We can choose all the time to meditate, contemplate, concentrate only on the positivity of things in our lives. And then we are big winners. Don't think the righteous people don't fight. Oh, yeah, boy, they fight. So fight. Be a fighter, but the greatest fight within yourself. God bless you all.